Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. Today I want to highlight a crafting workhorse that sometimes doesn't get the attention it deserves. The tiny but mighty Cricut Joy cutting machine. It's so cute, but it's also truly amazing what you can do with this little cutting machine. To show you what I mean, I've created seven new projects just for the joy that demonstrate just how versatile it is. So let's take this little bundle of joy over to the craft table and we will get started with our projects. So everything you see here I made with the Cricut Joy. There are so many materials that it can use. Smart vinyl, iron-on, infusible ink transfer sheets, pens, cardstock, adhesive vinyl, foil, and so much more. Each of today's projects is pretty simple and uses similar materials and tools. Now the Cricut Joy is smaller than the Explore and Maker, so it does use some different tools and supplies than the larger Cricut cutting machines. So make sure you have the correct machine, mats, tools, and materials ready. Of course, you can make all of these projects on a Cricut Maker or Explore if that's what you have, but you'll want to adjust your shopping list as needed. Now I'm going to share each project and show you a few highlights as they're all really very easy Cricut Design Space assembly techniques. If you want more thorough instructions, visit the written tutorials over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Joy Projects. So let's see what this bite-sized beauty can do. I love the Cricut Joy because it is a relatively inexpensive way to use Cricut smart materials like this pretty gold vinyl. Now remember, smart materials don't require a machine mat, which really opens up so many doors. You can even decorate doors themselves because you can cut up to 20 feet long of smart materials at a time on the Cricut Joy. And you can cut a continuous shape up to four feet long and four and a half inches tall, like the background layer of a big address decal. Of course, you don't have to go that big. My simple flower decal looks really awesome on the Joy's door. Don't you think, isn't this cool? And whether you use smart vinyl or traditional options on one of the Joy's machine mats, these designs are easy to apply with the standard grip transfer tape. Decorating your machine is a great way to keep yourself inspired. You could add your name, a motivational quote, a funny image, anything that will remind you to be creative whenever possible. I'd love to see what you come up with. The front of a hat is the perfect size for Cricut Joy projects, especially if you want to layer them. I made this version on a Cricut trucker hat, this one, using black and yellow iron-on vinyl. Now, the Cricut portable trimmer is actually the perfect companion to the Cricut Joy. If your material isn't the right size for your Joy, you can cut it to fit. And that means it'll work with regular size iron-on vinyl as well as smart materials. So if you already have the smart iron-on in the full size, just trim it to five and a half inches wide and as long as you need it. The trimmer will cut perfect straight lines so the material will feed through just perfectly without a mat. It's really awesome. And just because we're using smart vinyl doesn't mean that you must cut it without a mat. Since the sun is so small on this project and the joy needs smart materials to be at least five and a half inches wide to cut without a mat, you can save vinyl by trimming and placing the small piece of vinyl on a mat. Just remember to change your material and mat settings accordingly. I used my trusty Cricut hat press for this project, which you can see right over here. And it's so easy to use with the Cricut Heat app on your phone. And if you're comfortable using the Cricut Design Space mobile app, you can complete this project with just your phone. It is super cool. Everyone needs a personalized tumbler or two. There are several designs in the collection that will look great on these skinny tumblers. I used the hearts from the download and then added a name. And here are two versions. And I used a purchase font that included glyphs. Now glyphs are special characters or variations on letters that typeface and font designers often include. They're definitely optional, but super cool. See the Alexa version, it looks nice just as it is. Now I have a tutorial that covers glyphs and how to get them at jennifermaker.com slash personalized wine glasses. So check that out to learn a new design skill. I'll also show you how to keep a curved surface like these still while you apply your decal. Here's a hint, 
this lint roller I have over here isn't for removing lint. <laughs> so these stylish tumblers are perfect last minute or group gifts since you can personalize them with names, colors, different fonts, however you like. The Cricut Joy is up for it. Just remember to measure your tumbler first and adjust your design to fit. Did you know you can make sublimation projects with the Cricut Joy 2? You could have the machine draw designs with infusible ink pens, but I really love using it to cut infusible ink transfer sheets. These are so cool. It is easy to get consistent, beautiful results, especially when you're decorating small items in a set like these round Cricut coasters. They're made specifically for infusible ink and the size is perfect for the Cricut Joy. Since the sheets are pretty thick, scissors can bend or warp the material's edges if they're dull. Just keep that in mind, okay? So I like to use the portable trimmer instead on the infusible ink sheets to cut a clean, straight cut. It works great. Now remember, we always mirror designs when we're using infusible ink. It's not totally necessary here since the shapes don't really have an important orientation but it's better to stay in the habit because you might wanna do a happy birthday to Alexa coaster like I did, and then you definitely have to mirror it. Now the Joy Cuts infusible ink transfer sheets nicely on the standard mat. Remember to place them ink side up. And if you haven't worked with infusible ink transfer sheets before, small projects like the coasters are a great way to start. Sometimes the material is a bit tough to weed, so start small and be patient. If you want to be really economical, save the negative spaces from the designs while you're weeding them as well. So all of the plastic backing after you peel it from the finished coasters. The infusible ink isn't sticky, so it's pretty easy to just place them back on another compatible surface that you wanna sublimate. I'll show you how to do this in the written tutorial that goes along with this video. So just like any other sublimation project, Make sure you have good ventilation before heating up the materials. A fan going is a great idea. You can use the Cricut Heat app as a great reference for getting your pressing layers and settings correct. Your press doesn't have to be connected to your phone to use the app. I use my Cricut Auto Press and was able to press them all at once. It's really cool. You can also use the 9x9 Easy Press to press them all at once as well. And coasters are a great way to highlight some of the stunning patterns available in the infusible ink transfer sheets. Wouldn't these look so cool on your coffee table? If you haven't used the Smart Label material yet, it's one of my favorite organizing secret weapons. It's specialized vinyl that works perfectly with Cricut's fine and extra fine point pens. The material keeps the ink's true color and helps it dry quickly to avoid smudges. Writing on normal vinyl just doesn't get the same result because it doesn't either it doesn't go on well or it smudges. And I'm gonna show you how to take a simple shape and make a custom set of labels just for your needs in just a few minutes. We'll look at the best label fonts and how to make sure Cricut Design Space writes them just the way you want them to. And once you've added the pen lines, your joy can switch focus to doing the kiss cut on a label. That makes it so easy to just pull off the label and put it onto whatever you want whenever you're ready to use them. Now I added my labels to my dream box bins to help me wrangle some vinyl and cardstock supplies. It's probably time to make some more versions to keep organizing. You might be confused about why I have a weeding tool out now if I'm going to talk about a paper card project, but this is not a normal card. The Cricut Joy and its special card mat are the perfect combination to make these cutaway cards. They look really involved, but they are a few secrets that make them really quite easy. First, the card mat has this handy protective area on the front and not only helps keep the card in place, but it will keep your blade from cutting through to whatever is underneath it, like the card itself, right? That means you can slip the back of a folded card right underneath and cut the front, and only the front, even with the small size of the Cricut Joy. Even better, the cutaway cards have a sticky area under the front so you can expose the adhesive area and add a piece of paper in the color or pattern that you want to show through the cut areas. It's really cool. The Cricut Joy will carefully cut through just to the front of the card. Then you carefully weed the correct design areas to expose the contrasting paper. 
And since the adhesive stays on the front layer, any floating pieces will stick to the insert without leaving exposed sticky areas. This is really a smart little machine. Foiling is really fun, but it can take a long time. So the Cricut Joy size limitations will help you stick to your crafting time budget. Now, while the Cricut Joy uses the same method to apply foil that the Explore and Maker do, the tool is separate from the version that's sold for the larger machines. And I really wanted to use this shimmery white cardstock for some of my tags, so I just trimmed it with a paper cutter to fit on the Joy's mat. Isn't that pretty? You can cut larger foil sheets to fit the Joy too, but they're a bit too flimsy for the paper trimmer, so just keep that in mind. Now, since the Cricut Joy only has one clamp in it, right, just the one clamp, you will need to swap tools during the project. Just stay near the machine and the device that you're using when you're in Cricut Design Space. The software will tell you exactly what to do when you need to do it. One more thing to keep in mind if you're foiling on small pieces of cardstock like I have here, you'll use special tape to keep the foil in place. The tape is very sticky. You might be tempted to use the extra sticky area on the mat around the cardstock to keep the foil in place instead. Unfortunately, the foil will transfer right to the mat, so don't give in to temptation. Just be patient with the tape and keep it away from the sticky mat. You also need to avoid putting the tape over foil lines, which I had trouble with. As you can see, the foil won't transfer if the tape is in the way. If this happens, move your tape to different spots or use a larger piece of foil so you have more room to work with. You might have to rearrange the designs on the mats for the best results. It's a learning process, so don't worry if you have any issues. It's all okay. Now these foil tags are super cute and they are so fast that you can totally customize them for different holidays, events, recipients, whatever you want. And since we use cardstock, you could write in the names for all of your recipients using a variety of pens and markers right in your Cricut Joy. It's time to experiment. So there are seven new designs made just for your joy. I had a lot of fun creating this collection and I hope you enjoy the projects just as much as I do. And the fun doesn't stop here. Remember to visit the blog post to see many, many more of my projects that are perfect for the Cricut Joy. They're all available at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Joy Projects. Now, if you have any questions about making any of these easy joy projects that I didn't get an answer here or anything else craft related that you think I can help you with, let me know. Just leave your question below this video or better yet, come ask over at our awesome Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. I love to help and I love to see the projects you make. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.